gentlemen, boys and girls, give it up large style. The hardest working man in showbiz television's Paul Ross and his crazy couple of pot noodle pals. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome once again, bouncing back onto your box with the hardest show on British television, the show we call Endurance UK, because this time it's us. We bring you the best of Japanese endurance and put eight contestants through hell and high water, mainly hell, in pursuit of a grand prize. But I am not alone on the show. No, 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 no. I've extended my hand of friendship right across the oceans to bring you Hokey and Cokey! <laughs> And I understand, chaps, it's a very special day today in Japan. And that's a lie to Mr. Loss. Today in Japan is a very special year. Today is the day of the cock. You like a cock? Yes. Oh, oh, you Mr. Like a Japanese is a fighting cock? Oh, no, it's a fighting cock. Like Steady, big fella. You like him? I, I like him, yeah. Good. Um, like you. I love him. Good. Ah, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> a very loud cock. Just because he raised the cock. Oh. Oh. So, still warm. You've never seen a cock egg before, Mr. Loss? No. Oh. Or maybe the audience would like to see a cock egg? Yeah, love to. Egg? You want to see a cock egg? Yeah. Want to see a cock egg? Yeah. You want a cock egg? Yes, they love a cock egg. <laughs> Blimey! And I hope the contestants at the bar won't put off their last street because they're enjoying a moment's quiet and solitude before we unleash hell upon their heads. Let's make them welcome now. And they are in no particular order. Lorraine, Steve, Adrian, Nikki, Mark, Nick, Michael, Winner, Matt, Alistair. Give them the Their powder's dry, but why are they here putting themselves through ritual humiliation? For the glory, of course, but also for their crack at this fantastic prize. Look at this. The winner will be jetting off on the trip of a lifetime. First stop, Bangkok in Thailand. Then pack your trunks, splash out, and enjoy the splendours of Australia's great barrier reef. It's Sydney next with its culture, restaurants and nightlife. Then we wish you to California and the fabulous beaches of Santa Monica. That's the prize around the world trip for two. Well, I mentioned the prize and I mentioned the glory, and the glory lies in this beautiful antique of the future, the Endurance UK Trophy. Yes, don't forget they're playing for this and a holiday around the world for two people. <laughs> Let's meet and greet them now and get to know them just a little bit more. Hokey and Koki have lined them up, true Tenko styly. Hokey, Koki, hustle towards me. Adrian, if you will. I want Adrian. Quick, 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 quick. quick. Adrian Gardner, who's a sign manufacturer, also has a showbiz talent, don't you? No, not anymore. It's gone. Oh. I can't even do a balloon dance anymore. He used to do the balloon dance. The balloon dance with the balloon dance. The balloon dance with balloons, and you hold it in front, and you hold it behind, and... Take him back, take him away. And bring me... Nicky! Nicky! Nicky, you must pay attention. Nicky Roberts, who's a recruitment consultant. How would you describe yourself with any, any two words? Um, cheeky, but probably a bit of a nightmare. A cheeky nightmare? Which of my, which of my yellow sidekicks do you most fancy? Oh, these? Mm. Yeah. Do I have to have one? She's told for choice. Take her back. She can't make her mind up. <laughs> and where is Stephen? Come on. Stephen Ford is a big fella. He's a PE, or was a PE teacher, and you've also taught somebody to dance, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, I got stitched up on holiday where I had to end up teaching about 400 people how to do the Agadoo dance. Do, do you know the Agadoo, Hokey and Cokey? I got what? Agadoo, push pineapple, shake a tree. Push your pineapple over it! Push him back, oh, take him away! Oh, and bring me! Oh, oh, he is a restaurant critic. He's a film director and a professional nuisance. Michael Winner is with us! Oh, Michael! 
who's lost a bit of weight, Michael. Oh, Michael, we're a civil servant. So if you're a civil servant, how can you describe yourself as daring and sporty? Contradiction in terms. Well, you've got to be daring to do that, what I do. Do you get much stick for having the same surname as old All the time. Really? All the time. A lot more stick in store for you today. Take him away! <laughs> Take him away! Another ginger man with a goatee yeah, beard. Do job. He's a teacher. What do you teach, Alistair? Um, I teach uh, children with special needs. Special needs teacher. Can you do anything with my two here, do you think? I'm afraid they're beyond repair. Spare the rod and spoil the child. He doesn't like you. Take Bigger it away. Do. And for you, the lovely Lorraine. Lorraine Joseph, oh, a yeah. fitness instructor and a former beauty queen. No, it was um, a fitness bodybuilding. Oh, oh, but still a beauty. What did you actually get? What was your title? Um, I was runner-up to Miss Britain. Oh. Very strong. Oh, 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 yes. Do you like a muscly woman, Koki? Yes, all right. Be very careful. Take him away. Take him away. And bring me. Where's, where's Nick? Nick Hughes. Nick, 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 Nick. They walk around like a club. They walk around like a club. Nick Hughes is an artist, but I wonder whether he's a performance artist because you had a close shave with celebrity, didn't you? Yes, yes, I shaved my pubes on stage in front of 200 people. <laughs> His mother must have been so proud. She was, she was. Thank you, Nick Hughes, take him away. Mark, Mark Robinson, the big boy. Oh, now, my two assistants are salary men, so they might look up to you because this is a company director. Oh, sorry, oh, oh they like him. What are your hobbies? Hobbies, football, drinking, and uh, typically me friends bond on me. They bond on you? Yeah, male bonding type stuff. I'm usually the brunt of it. But... Have a bucket of water standing by. Oh, Take it away. Line them up as nearly an appetizer. A horse's doobie. Here comes our first course. What I mean. This is an enormous apparatus, but what's it for? Ah, oh, Mr. Loss, contest the runs are right down or sleepy times, but not a sleep because underneath our eggs is a big balloon. Big balloon? And are keeping them awake, a great a big prick. Between their legs? So, yes. But this string is something to do with oh, it. Well, it? Is a string. Where is it gone? Up into a bucket full of some kind of liquid. Hey, that's a lot of Mr. Loss. It goes all the way up in a bucket of pig's milk. Pig's milk? Well, in Japan we call it pig's milk, or you call it pig's urine. <laughs> so, they are lying beneath a bucket of pig's urine with a great big prick between their legs above a balloon. Hi. What should they be worried about? Our uh, angle of incidence on the regs of maintain a 27 degrees. Because at the moment they're resting on these handy bars. Hi. When we pull those out, the minute you pop your balloon, you'll know, here a plop, you'll be covered in plop. The bucket will go on your heads, I'm afraid. That's a lot, Mr. Loss. But we can't get this game underway. We can't peel these eight contestants down to just four, because the first four who get drenched are out, until we introduce you to the woman who is now available on the National Health Service, the lovely Olivia! <laughs> Just what the doctor ordered. Now, Olivia's gonna bang her gong. When she bangs her gong, you won't have long. Hold your legs up for as long as you can. The first four who drop their legs, pop the balloons and get drenched are out, because only four of you go through from this round. Olivia, for the first time on this show, will you bang for us? And we move! Legs up! Legs up! Not too high!
a balloon, a prick and a great big bucket of pig's urine. Please don't try that. These people are professionals. Let's move down the line. Stay where you are. Well, congratulations. Look it through. But I'm afraid, I'm afraid, Mark is out and so too are you, sir. Lie back down for us. You've been great contestants, but now is the time for us to say a fond sayonara to you two. You've given your all. You're going to go home smelly but wiser. Have you enjoyed your day? Yep, great day. Have we looked after you? Oh, lovely, thank you. They've had a lovely time. That's a nice. Say something okay. soothing. Now go home! But Alistair is through. so far we've now got four contestants left we're going to towel them down what are we going to look at in the meantime chaps on a national cockadoo mr lossa in japan we like to get our peckers out take a look at this introducing a one a big angry a cockabod and his uh, 50 a hungry a wife's on a reef still ready birds peck 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 one times two times three times Ah, uh, so a uh, fifty cocker hungry birds are uh, desolate for his seed. Oh, buddy, num num. Oh, don't pick my armpit. Oh, don't pick my pecker. Oh. Oh, I better that hurts. Body nom nom. Hold on, hold on. Give up, my lad. Back, 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 back. Surrounded by hunger birds. Oh, chicken, chicken, chicken. Oh, 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 Go get the full breakfast time. Well, we've got four contestants left. We can only have one go through to the grand final, and we're going to take a break. What have you got for the audience, Koki? Oh, look. This is a year of a cock in Japan. And I have you a one-eyed fighting cock. And he's very, very angry. Mm. Is he rigid with rage? He is rigid with rage. And you're going to inflict him on somebody in the audience? Oh, well, let's make it worth their while. Can I risk putting my hand inside your bag? Oh, no, oh, Brett, Brett, Brett Cocky do it, because he already oh, knows his smell. <laughs> oh, you're right, oh. Uh, ready to let's leave the five pounds flow of Mr. Cocky's cock bag. Hey, go and find Hi. one. Are you ready? Ready, please? Ready, please? Here, miss. <laughs> Wait, please. Oh, what? And what's oh, your what? name, madam? Adele. Adele's down there for us. Have, have you ever, have you ever had a close encounter with a one-eyed cock before? No. <laughs> Give it your best, you liar. Reach in. If you get the fiver out, it's yours. But it is a Scottish five pound. Grab it by the neck. Off you go. Okay. Look out! Oh no! Look out! It's on you! It's on your hair! Oh no! No! no. It's in your hair! Get it off! 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 Uh, 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 oh uh, Adele! Adele! Oh I'm afraid! Word. Oh! There's been an accident! It's fallen off! Oh, no. well, 
You what don't, have you done to my cock? <laughs> you don't get the five pound note, but you do get a nice cock leg to take away. Well, we had eight contestants. We've now got just four. We're going to take a short break. We're going to be back in a moment with more Japanese endurance, but most of all, more from our contestants. More challenges, because this is Endurance UK. This time, it's us. Welcome back to Endurance UK. And you know, some people say an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Personally, I prefer a pear. Olivia's with me. Hokey and Koki are standing by. And we've got four remaining contestants. Let's get to know them just a little better before we do all kinds of horrible and hideous things to them. Nikki, you survived. Were you surprised? Very surprised. Are you motivated and ready to go? No, I'm scared to death now. Give yourself a big war cry <laughs> from the diaphragm. Let it all out. Go on. Oh dear! <laughs> she may not do too well. Perhaps Adrian will do better. Adrian, you got a bit Fine. splashed in the last one, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, nice and smelly. Any phobias? Anything you're very worried about? Mice. Mice. <laughs> you may not enjoy the next bit too much, but don't look up just for the moment. And lovely Lorraine. Now, have you got the female war cry for us? <laughs> They're all too nervous, rigid with fear. And Alistair, who's kind of doing that lovely nervous jiggle up and down, yeah, he doesn't yeah. know what's coming next. Do you wonder why you're wearing a bin bag? Do you wonder why you've got these wax strips on your upper thigh? Well, yeah, I wanted to go to the beautician last week. For that nice yeah. sergeant three-stripe mm. look there. You save your curiosity for just a moment, because Hokey and Koki are about to reveal all. Give them a round of applause, though, first, please. <laughs> Hokey, Koki. What will he be plucking from your oh-so-inscrutable cabinet of delights for us today? That's all, is it not? In the list of year of the egg, or the year of the cock, even, we have a very... In the very layer, a cock's egg. As you know, an egg in the mouth is worth two in the bushy door. We put an egg in each of the mouth. Eggs in their mouth, Hi. while, as ever, of course, they'll be hanging from those bars. Hanging a very strong from the bars. Hanging from the bars, which are being kind of warmed up for them by those live and starving Hungry rats. Lovely rats. Yes. Lovely rats. And that's there. not all the riving of creatures, because in a bin of rhino, we put a giant cockerel. Our old friend, the hissing Malaysian cockroach. Hi. 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 In each bin liner. Anything Hi. else? Oh, oh, no. Oh, one more thing. Just, just. Oh, yes. yes. Yeah. Just a usual bucket of a shit. <laughs> it's not really. Not really. It's only brown. It's only brown. Only brown. Only brown. Only brown what? Just a brown. Just a brown. Just a brown. So, you're going to have an egg in your mouth, which will probably end up smashed. You're going to have a live hissing Malaysian cockroach down your bin bag t-shirt. The wax strips on your upper thigh will be removed once every 15 seconds. And you're going to be daubed with brown, but don't worry, because it is only brown. Yes. Only brown. Only brown. Stand <laughs> by. Alistair and Nikki, check your positions on those pedestals. Stand up. and Lorraine to stand to one side. <laughs> As they're getting ready to go, we can't oh, begin the game. Oh, boy, no way. Glass the bar. Oh, boy. Oh, In goes the egg. Oh, oh, In goes you. the egg. Oh, 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 the cockroach will go in in just a moment. Oh, and we're about to remove... Oh, Cockroach in the bin liner. Oh, and then grasp, grasp your, grasp, grasp your bars, please. I'll take a hold of bars. Don't look up. Don't look up. Don't look up. Gra hold the bars. Stuck. We'll remove the pedestals. But the game can't begin until once again we return on doctor's orders to the lovely Olivia to bang her gong. Do it for me, baby. Hold the way the pedestals. Four contestants. The one who hangs up for the shortest time is out. And they're talking them with brown. Four to a wax strip. A wax! Wax! Oh! He's me. He's moody. And Nikki's still got her egg. We're timing each contestant. The one who drops first is... Oh, 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 stop it. Yeah. The big fella. Well, very brave. Very brave there, Alistair. Nikki, come with us. Very brave because... 27 oh, seconds is the time oh, to beat. You're definitely oh, through, Nicky. You'll be delighted to learn. We'll find out your fat Alice in just a moment. Oh, 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 you can move over there for us as we bring on the next oh, two oh, contestants. Oh, Give a round of applause. Oh, 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 and there you go. And it's the same deal. An egg 
in the mouth. Corbin Brown hissing cockroaches down the front of their tunics. And the person who drops in less time than our Alistair did is out. 27 seconds is the time to beat. Get ready to break. And Nikki was excellent tactics, I thought, in that last round. She did not break the egg in her mouth. Stand by, the cockroaches are going in. Cross the bars, hands up. Stand by, they're in position, they've got their eggs, they've got the cockroaches in their bin bags, but the game can't begin once again until Olivia has banged for us. She loves it, so do we. Do it! Come on, 27 seconds is the time to beat. First, the boxing rub in the face. The egg has gone. Now, a bit of brown. Five seconds to the first wax strip. Bit of brown there. Works away. Oh, he's a man of steel, is our Adrian. He likes it. 27 seconds is the time to beat. And you'll know they've got through when we hit that second wax strip. Three seconds to the next wax strip. Let's have the next strip. Works. And they're both through. Drop down. Drop carefully. Lob it up. They survived the rats. They survived the brown. Come back. Come back. We, we have three winners and one loser, because Nikki's through, Nikki's through, Adrian's through, we're Lorraine is through, but I'm afraid Alistair, come here, hey. Alistair, you've been a very brave and gallant Thank contestant, you. you survived round one, you're out in round two, have you enjoyed your day? Indeed, indeed. He's had a lovely day, we've looked after yeah. him, and we're going to say goodbye to him in traditional Japanese style with a sayonara aso. So, now go home! Go home! Many have called, few are chosen. We've got three contestants left. What are we going to show them from Japan to give them a bit of motivation? Well, the next time we have us have a contestants, Mr. Lars, can we hang them upside down, please? No. We're around to in the Japan. Take a look at this. Yes. What's happening at these times, on Mr. Hooking? Ah, look out already, because at these times, I can let a big bag of cockroaches. Uh, upside down and contestants are dressed as a Batman and put cockroaches in a Batman's panto. Oh. Uh, first, I write a big fire bucket underneath a Batman to make him a choco. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, frap! Frap your wings! Frap your wings! What's the matter with you? What's the matter with you? You know this, uh, no smoking on Kampatamanda! Oh, uh, don't, don't worry! It's only Rota! Ah, uh, I wish a Lobin was here to save me these times! <laughs> Oh, not a cockroach! Not a cockroach! Aye! Ah! I can't understand it! I can't understand it! I can't understand it! Oh! I heard my cockroach! Ah! Oh! He a bit of me by the nipper! Oh yes! It's a bit of lead! It's a very lead! Okay, a rubbery ranza. Uh, next all times, uh, we pray Spider-Man! Spider-Man! Well, there's been an awful lot of lying around on the show today. This is our penultimate round. What's in store for our three victims? I mean, contestants. Let's find out from Mr. Hokey, who is lurking with intent at his sushi bar. Hi! Hi, Paul! Hi! Oh, Mr. Loss. <laughs> oh, it was sushi bar today. Oh, we will welcome back one times my old friend Porky Pig. Oh, always lovely to see Porky. <laughs> always nice to see Porky back. A Porky, a very generous pig. He donated his brain for us today. His brain, lovely. His brain, and uh, several of his friends are chipped in and are donated a cooked brain. Very, very small brain, but very smelly cooked pig. Very really small a brain, because I'm not a very clever pig. A one time from China style, come from the mountains Peking, a 100 year old a Chinese egg oil. Oh, very underground in sulfur times, and make them very smelly. Oh, oh. very smelly. All right, to be demonstrated, oh. Mr. Lewis. A 100 year old egg. Uh. A rock, a pork, a cherry. Oh. oh. Now, maybe a 
quite often people come up to me and say, Paul, are the things you show on Endurance UK really as horrible as they look? Well, we're going to answer that query right now by sharing the 100-year-old Eggie with some volunteer from the audience. Let's just see if someone wants to take a, just a little, a nibble or a sniff, it's up to you, sir. Smell it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Not bad? Not bad. Not bad, so... <laughs> what do you mean? It's bloody horrible! <laughs> so, Hokey, we need something else in our dish of the day. Oh, that's a lie. Not this day on the cock, and we walk about an old friend, the hissing... Ah! Oh. Oh, these are ones that apparently much arrive, and these ones cooked and dead as a stone. And we add this as a final garnish on the snack we are about to reveal. So basically, it's a false feeding tube for the three remaining contestants. Let's see what's actually on the menu. Here we go. We have a 100-year-old egg, a bit of pig's brain, another 100-year-old egg, another bit of pig's brain, a final egg, and to cap it all, a lovely deep-fried cockroach. But, as if that's not enough, Mr. Koki, why are you lurking at the bottom? Oh, Mr. Loss, I'm uh, spreading my seed all over the contestants' brains. <laughs> <laughs> because we're going to red the rules. Live chickens! Quick, 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 quick! <laughs> Live chickens on the contestants while they're being force-fed through our tube. It's an interesting round, and the person who eats least or quits first is out, because only two go through from this round to our grand final. Let's start the proceedings, but only after we've said hello to the woman who ought to be available on the NHS. She's glorious and gorgeous. She's Olivia. Bang the gong, start the round. And... Hey! Oh! Get your hands around the top. Get They've got to go out. back in. They've got to go back in. Eat, 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 eat. They've got to go back in. Eat it, eat it. Come on. Eat it. Eat it. It's only all right. Well, it looks to me, it looks to me as if we have a coward in our midst. We'll give her one more chance. We'll give you one more chance. Nikki, are you going to nibble anything for us? We can't force that. She won't do it, so I'm afraid Stop. the end has come. <laughs> oh, Take All the way, stop eating. Take All the way. Oh, well, none of... Oh! Can we just see Adrian's lovely face as he munches on those eggs? He gets a round of applause. So does the rain. But Nicky... Nicky, Nicky, Nicky... Nicky... Nikki, have you enjoyed your day? I've had a lovely time. We've looked after you, haven't we? Yes, you treated me so well. But I'm afraid the chickens and the hundred-year-old egg and the pig's brains and the cockroach were just too much. This is all too much. Well, you can compose yourself to the tunes of my <laughs> Japanese goodbye music. It's Sayonara to Nikki. Goodbye. No, no go! go! Two potential winners here, but only one can go through to the grand final. Is it going to be Adrian? Is it going to be Lorraine? We're going to find out after we whip out the cocks and take a look at something Japanese. Oh, on this is the day of the cock of Mr. Loss. I traditionally do my impression of a one youth elephant. Would you rather see it? <laughs> I'd really rather not, but I think the audience might. Oh, yes. oh. 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 Now, uh, these are games uh, called uh, Busting uh, for a uh, Tourette. Our uh, contestants have a uh, link many, many parts of Baraka and are uh, now ready for... Tourette of Destiny! Ah, robbery. Come on, I have to get Stop, 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 stop! Oh, Lan! Quickly! Quickly! Oh, almost too red. Ah! Under hold of my wing! Oh! Oh! Ah, my brother! Ah, quickly! Let us go! Oh, you got a big one, mate. There is cross swords. A 
Uh, don't throw brush on my shoes. Well, now the end is near, and one of our contestants is facing the final curtain. But which one's going to survive? Will it be Adrian or will it be Lorraine? What have you got planned for them, Mr. Cokey? Oh, Mr. Hockey, please. Oh, this are times of Mr. Lars, our ultimate endurance. Are you two ready? Our contestants are right down on the back times, attached by anchors to a great big wrong erastic bundle attached at the other end to a big wing. Hey, hey, hey! Oh, winch, 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 winch! Don't hear winch. So it's a kind of horizontal bungee jump come rack. Uh, that's a lot of it, Mr. Lars. A winch is tied on to a contestant and stretching, holding on as long as they can. We know Lorraine and Adrian are tough. Good upper body strength. What else you got? Well, it's long. A way in the face is a leech at this point. Empty into funnel. A nasty, a brown, a Japanese glavy. Oh, lovely Japanese. But don't fret if either of you are vegetarians. It was only made with vegetable stock. Ah, but next to Mr. Loss, uh, this is not made of vegetables. Emptying into funnel at this point. A Japanese a dog maggots. <laughs> uh, so. And if a contestant's are ready to go. That's a right, a straight down the floor into a great big pile of shit. No, 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 it's only brown. No, it's not, it's a shit. Right, so farm yard manure should you let go, but if you do want to let go, we've got towels waiting for you at the end there. You can dust yourself off and become human again. But the person who lets go first is out. Only one person can go through to the grand endurance final, and we can't start this, the final round of the show, until once again we see Olivia in lovely, wobbly, Action. Bang away, babe. Start tightening, guys. Switch, 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 switch. Hold on tight. Hold on tight. Hold on tight. Hold on tight. Be more quick. Switch, 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 switch. And stop. Hold on tight. Gravy. Brown gravy in gravy. first. More roses. Gravy, gravy, gravy. Oh, it looks lovely. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Stretch. Switch, switch, and stop. Switch, switch. Stop, 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 stop. And stretch, 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 and stop. And my God, my God, what's that? Keep your mouth closed. Oh, and stretch, stretch, stretch. Here we go. Now. Who's gonna go first? Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. through but which means we have a loser she was so brave so gallant the lovely Lorraine Lorraine have you had a lovely day have you enjoyed your day I've had a brilliant day it's really? fantastic what was the high point for you Lorraine the maggots the, the maggots she's brave to the end <laughs> she's got a maggot down her front but now's the time for us <laughs> to say goodbye in our special endurance UK way goodbye Lorraine thank you now go home go home go and he's going to reappear on the show. He may not want to. He's got no choice. It's the fantastic Adrian! We give him the sash. We give him the cigar. And maybe even from Olivia, a kiss. Mm. Thank you, well done, Adrian. <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed the show. We're heading for our grand final, a trip round the world for two people, and one of them could be this fella. Remember, Endurance UK. This time, it's us. <laughs> Put the hands down.
are my pants and an alga full of snakes. And give me all your coffee because I got what it takes. Endurance, we ain't got an alright insurance to be you. Endurance, we ain't got an alright insurance to be you. We're made of the light stuff, so come and have a go if you think you're hard enough.